Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Dungeon Munchies. I think we're, uh, we're taking on a boss, right? If I remember correctly. It's been a couple of days since I've played the game. So I'm trying to remember. I think we are fighting a boss, aren't we? Oh no. Yeah, no, because we fought the dog boy down there. I guess it just started me back here. Something like that. What do, you, what do you have to say? Okay, yeah, I've already read that. Yeah, here we go. I think this is where we were. Cool. Alrighty. Lojas, phase two. I am ready for whatever you're going to throw at me. Yeah, okay. Alright, so that was my bad. I, uh... It spawned me back there, but I could have teleported to here, and I didn't even realize it. Uh, so I got um, a neat story to tell, and when I say that, you're probably thinking it's going to be like a, like a, like an actual story. Rather, it's just going to be me talking about <laughs> talking about Toy Story Four for a little bit, because I uh, I went and saw that not last night, but a couple nights ago. And, uh, well, hang on. This is what we have equipped. Yeah, that's fine. I don't, um, so I went and, and I saw that, um, for surgery, little arms. Ooh, I can climb walls now. This should let you climb walls. To be honest, this is the first time I've seen the boss treat her workers so well. I don't think we have the same employee benefits. Well, uh, get good, is all I have to say. Um, but, uh, ah, shit, I should have seen that coming. Um, but, yeah, I went to go see, uh, Toy Story 4, and, uh, by golly, they did it again. It was a good movie. I just, I don't understand how they, you know, how Pixar can continue to, uh, not only put out good Toy Story movies, but uh, good uh, good movies in general. You know, I mean, like, they've been consistently good for as long as they've been around. Um, you know, they've had maybe one or two stinkers here and there. But, uh, you know, most of the time, they, they, they hit the nail on the head. And their new movie with, uh, with, uh, with Tom Holland and uh, Chris Pratt... Um, I don't remember what they're calling it, but, um, that looks good, too, um, but anyway, you know, like, I was going into Toy Story 4 kind of thinking, all right, you know, I don't think this is going to be any better than any of the movies that have been put out in this series so far, um, in fact, I think it's going to be significantly worse than any, uh, any of the movies in the series, and that's, you know, not exactly like a, a a horrible thing because the other movies in the series were fantastic, you know, and uh, trying to live up to those expectations all the time um, or consistently live up to those expectations uh, is difficult, you know, for any franchise to do. Um, so I was going into it expecting to be let down a little bit. Um, however, I did know before going into the movie that the movie had, you know, 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, which I was kind of like, all right, you know, it's Toy Story, you know, maybe that's kind of, uh, you know, the big reason here. But uh, no, as it turns out, uh, it is 100% because the movie is fantastic. Um, granted, it did feel like at times they were trying a little too hard, Um but the movie is great. You know, there, there, there are some characters that are brought in for uh, comic relief, and they actually work well. Um, you rarely see that in a kid's movie anymore. Granted, you know, you, I, to begin with, you rarely saw characters brought in for comic relief that actually worked in, uh, in kids' movies. But the characters they brought in pretty much worked uh, because they didn't shove them down your throat. Um, and the ending almost made me cry. So, 
There you go. I mean, like... Do I go in here? I guess so. I Like, I just... I don't understand how they keep doing it. And I don't even know if they're going to make another Toy Story. I feel like... The, based on how this one ended, I feel like they will. But I don't know. I have no idea. Um, okay, what do we have here? Laser Staff. Inflicts 24 points of magic damage. Yo. Yeah, give me that. Um, but, uh, I just, I don't understand how they continue to pull it off. You know, I really don't. And I, I, I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm, this is probably an unpopular opinion, even for the people who have seen the movie, uh, the new one. But I am going to say that I think this movie was, uh, was better than Toy Story 3. Now, I, I, not, I'm not trying to be controversial here. It's just how I feel. Toy Story 3 kind of... Uh, from what I remember, it was very good, of course. But I, uh, I think the one thing that kind of like... Uh, you know, uh, holds a holds it in a less positive light in my eyes in comparison to the other movies in the series is that it was a lot of like not gross out humor but just gross scenes you know it was just nasty like I don't like and I don't like seeing that at all you know um, whereas in Toy Story 4 there wasn't really any of that so uh, you know by comparison, I, uh, I'm going to pick Toy Story 4. Fuck. What the hell is going on, dude? Oh, I got, I got new stuff over here. Grilled Mantis Claw. Dagger attacks inflict serious bleeding, causing 200 points of damage over 4 seconds with 4 second cooldown. Attacks inflict spider poison, causing 64 points of damage over 8 seconds, so 8 points of damage every second. Do I have any daggers? I don't know if I have any uh, daggers. A melee weapon with a large range made from a whole mantis claw. A scythe. Summons two friendly manti... Uh, Mantis spirits. Nah. Uh, <clears throat> let's do... Let's craft the mantis sword. Because I think that that's better than the, the crab sword. There we go. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like we have any daggers, though. So we can't... Can't use this, unfortunately. Um, I don't know if I want this, though. Okay, well, let's get rid of this, because this is better than that, inherently. There we go. Cool. All right, so... Here we go. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I really have to say about Toy Story 4. You know, like, I'm not... I... It, everybody's gonna be talking about it, you know, at least for the next little while. So I don't wanna... I don't wanna focus too much on it, because, uh... You know, it is it is going to be a hot topic for a little bit, as it should be. Um, so I don't want I don't want to, you know, jump on that bandwagon too much. But a uh, good movie. I recommend it. Go see it if you have not already. I do recommend though that there were people in the theater, you know, I was eavesdropping on their conversation because I have no sense of personal space anyway. Um, also because, you know, they were talking pretty loudly, but I digress. Uh, they, you know, there, there was one person that was talking about how, okay, that was a little unfair. There was one person that was talking about how, uh, 
they they ooh, got a spider dagger dude i think i'm gonna craft this and i'm gonna try it out um but they they were they were saying oh this is my first toy story movie i haven't seen the other ones and uh i think honestly that you need to see the other ones um you know toy story doesn't really follow the kind of um the kind of like uh what's what am i trying to think uh, you know they don't follow the typical format for like a kids movie franchise you know you kind of do need to understand what happened in the other movies in order to really appreciate the next one you know um i mean don't get me wrong you can watch the fourth movie and uh sorry i'm getting distracted um you can watch the fourth movie and uh oh did i get rid of it oh okay um you can watch the fourth movie and it'll explain things to you on a pretty basic level, you know, um, and it'll kind of get you to understand, you know, everything that's happened, you know, what's going on with the characters and whatnot. But uh, you won't really understand it, I think, unless you watch the other ones. And that's a pretty, I think, snobby thing to say, but it's true. It's 100% true. Um in my well in my opinion also i have to go to the bathroom i don't know why this keeps happening during this series but i really got to go uh go to the bathroom so i'm gonna go do that i'm gonna try and be as quick as possible so i don't have to sit here and render a video for too long but uh anyway i will uh i will be right back all righty i am back i apologize that i have to keep doing that <laughs> especially during these episodes i don't know why it happens during the dungeon munchies uh episodes in particular but it does and uh i can't do anything about that except listen to my body and uh, go to the bathroom um but uh, we're back in business now and dude i what is going on i am terrible <laughs> i <laughs> I don't know. I keep dying. These mantises are, are, are awful. They are truly, uh, truly horrendous. However, the dagger is doing wonders for me right now. If I can just land one hit in on them, they, they, they it takes care of the rest. So, I think I like this the best thus far. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. I don't know how much more we have to do. Uh, hopefully not that much. Ooh. Okay. What on earth? What? 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 What are you? I have no idea what you are. A water spirit. Okay. Definitely take the fish, too. Alright, here we go. God, thank God. Welcome to what used to be Lohas Phase 2, where I lived happily and wasted away my days as a student. But I'm determined to make your life fulfilling and important for all of us. See this billboard? It actually shows us a way we can get out of this dungeon using a stargate. Through working many engineers and ma uh, mages to the bone, the government was able to put together this stargate project. As long as you can reach the stargate, we can get out of this place and make cooking great again. That gourd inspector has blocked me from accessing it at every turn. I've tried sending skeletons to distract her, but they've all been thwarted, either because they were too stupid or too fat or both like Tyler. Hey, I heard that. 
but you've reignited my hopes for this plan. The closest Stargate original prototype made by the government. Oh, there's a... <laughs> the sentence ended there. I was expecting it to go on. Uh, they're, they're missing like an is somewhere in there. It's located at the science facility near the surface. I need you to help me distract that Lord Protector so the others can move my things to the Stargate. I don't need you to defeat her. You just need to stall her for time. This is a big responsibility, and I know you won't disappoint me. After all, I was the one who taught you everything you know. Okay, I can do that. Sure thing, boss. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Clam tonic. Spray a blast of water when attacking enemies with a spear, inflicting 12 points of damage. Absolutely not. While in the air, perform a rolling water slash with sword-type weapons. Axe and hatchet attacks create a watery wave, inflicting, or inflicting extra damage. Nah, I'm good. I'm good with what I've got. Thank you very much. A speedy secondary weapon. Okay. A long-range melee weapon. See, Barnaby wants to take it, but... Air shield to block attacks from that direction. Okay. Part of me wants to take it, but, I mean, with how much damage I deal with this dagger, um, because I got that, you know, that, that synergy going, I don't think, uh, I don't think I want to do that. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm actually responsible for placing and maintaining all these recycling bins. I used to learn necromancy with Simmer, and her skills were always miles ahead of everyone else. Like with reanimation spells, we usually need to be close to the corpse to make it happen. I don't understand how Simmer can just automate the whole process with a few magical items. Interesting. There are some notebooks and reference books on cooking and magic. But most of the cargo is just manga, anime, and games. These works are part of our cultural heritage. We have a duty to preserve them because everyone else is gone. Like cooking, these creative works are the result of skilled professionals working hard to bring happiness to the world. That act of creation is what differs us from the lower animals. These copies are probably, uh, probably the ones left in the universe. Only ones. If we leave them here, they'll just become fertilizer and dust. We can't let that happen. You're actually telling us the higher motives for your orders. That's a first. Protecting our cultural heritage sounds really grandiose. I don't know why I said that like that. Um, but, uh, okay. Thanks for sharing. Appreciate it. I'm going to be on my way now. Um, what's this? Oh, okay. Inside mushroom. What is that expression supposed to convey? Good question. Good question. Shit. Okay, I can make it. Hey! I don't know what you are, but you need to get out of here, dude. And his thing fell all the way down here. Oh, apparently I fought him before. I guess, because it didn't count for anything. Or, like, it didn't tell me it was a new item. But I feel like I have never seen that enemy before. God, get get me out of this cycle. I hate these fucking manises, dude. Because once they start hitting you, you know, I, like, I don't know how to break out of, you know, that cycle where they just keep attacking nonstop. Goddamn assholes. All right, all right, all right. Yo, listen up. Uh, uh, I don't know what he says after that. You know where it's going, though. Hey. Cut that out. No. Bad. Bad. There we go. There we go. Okay. Thank you very much. There's an old photo on the top of the stack. Hmm. 
Okay. Can't do anything about that mantis in the chamber, huh? Okay. All right. I get it. Yes. Thank you. I, oh, I can't. Here we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good God. Ah, there's two of them. Oh, fuck. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Please. 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 Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. I, 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 I don't. End me. End me, please. Please, end me. Please. Please, I'm begging you. I want to start over. I guess I can just fall down here and, like, get my health back, right? No. And end me, please. There we go. Thank you. Uh, I don't understand why... I have such a problem with some of these enemies sometimes. There, there, hey, stop. Just stop for like two seconds, okay? Jesus Christ. No, no. Up, up, up. No. There we go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. There we go. Got him. Oh my God. This game is hard. All right. Like I, I don't know what you want from me. I'm not good at video games. And I've been fooling myself into thinking that I'll be able to get through this game just fine. I don't think that's going to happen. There we go, I caught a fish. Hey. I forgot there are two of them. Bunch of cheating jerks. There we go. Killed that one. And, uh, there we go. Beautiful. Easy money. There we go. All right. And this end? Oh, thank God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's the Lord Protector, isn't it? You're going to do that thing with the flame every time we recover a recipe? Stop messing around. You're not being rational. A spirit who can't eat is teaching a zombie to cook. Your apprentice is just eating the foods for the effects. Zombies that can't taste can't carry on anything. Yeah, but it's not like you've done anything either. Show me what you've got. Those notes have already lost their value. There's no one left to use them and no one left to eat magical foods. You know this. If you were serious about it, you wouldn't spend all your time planting plants and raising magical creatures. I said these creatures are our everything. The age of humans is over. They don't need to die for our survival anymore. We should be doing our best to protect them. The age of humans isn't over. I'll open the Stargate and prove it to you. Stargate. I thought you gave up on that idea. I've explained this to you a thousand times, but you still won't face the consequences? You're wasting your time. I will burn your peons if before they get to that Stargate. I'm being mean, I'm sorry. Cooking is an art. Those of us that do it bust our brains trying to create dishes that make people happy. It's hard work, but at the same time, it's fun and rewarding. I feel such a sense of accomplishment when I see my friends eat the stuff I make. That's why I spend so much time in the field and in the kitchen researching and improving my cooking. 
Right now, none of that is possible if we stay here. To be honest, as good as it looks, I don't know what the food you make tastes like. I don't think you have working taste buds either. More importantly, nobody here wants to eat our food. What's the point in being a chef if there's no one to feed? Right now, we're just using cooking as a stepping stone to strengthen you and reach the Stargate. But for a brighter future and a return to our old lives, this is something we must do. Okay, fair enough, I understand that. What do we have here? Hal Halcyon Heights res Recipes. Okay, cool, thanks. Is this the new area? Maybe. Yep, Halcyon Heights if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which I don't know if we, if I am. Is this really a dungeon? Because that doesn't look like a dungeon out there. Four surgery, slippery soles, permanent dash. Ooh, dude, thank you. Can I talk to you about it? Well, regardless, thank you. Oh, no. Soldiers of the forest, to your battle stations. Do not allow Simmer's dogs to run wild in the city. Activate your traps. All hands on deck. Banish the unclean to the, abde uh, to the depths. This isn't the first time you've asked us to sacrifice our lives. You forget your priorities. Simmer only treats you like ingredients. Our great lord is the one keeping this place together. To die for her is the highest honor. That lord wants to release the herbivores on us. Or worse off, if... Silence! Kill that zombie or I shall report you to the lord protector and you'll be punished. Fine, fine, whatever. Uh, oh, I can dash now. Ha ha. Shit. Hey, stop that. No. There we go. Okay, Bean. It wonders why it's still alive. Ha! <laughs> Me too. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That took a dark turn. It's okay. Gotta throw in a little dark humor every now and then. Keep things lively. Keep the people coming back, you know. You know, it's hard being an entertainer, you know. Uh. Okay. So I'm assuming I'm going up here. Alright, well that's like a, a health checkpoint, I guess. But it's not a save point. Which is what I'm looking for. Oh! I forgot. Uh, I panicked. Okay, that's okay. We're good. You will not get this, I promise. There we go. Ooh, okay. I did it. Because I'm too good. Too good for your traps. <sighs> it's, it's, it's hard being this good. All the time, you know. There we go. Thank you. All right, we got some new stuff here. Increases bow attack damage by 50% if no damage was taken in the last two seconds. Increases maximum health by 20 points and increases axe and hatchet damage by five points. I'm tempted to take this because I like the idea of having increased health. But... At the same time... Um, I mean, we can get rid of this and then make this, because fried banana hardly does anything in the grand scheme of things, and I'd like the idea of having more health. Uh, what do we got? The bean gun. Not enough stuff. Inflicts 10 points of range damage on impact. Look at this bean. Look at him. We need five more of him in order to do that, but I'm not going to, uh. I'm not going to worry about it. Damage output of fully drawn bow attacks increased by 50%. Movement speed increased when bow is drawn. Okay. It's tempting. Don't get me wrong, but I am not good with a bow. So I am not going to... <sighs> Excuse me, sir. I'm not ready to go down there yet. Because um, I think we're going to end the episode here, honestly. And uh, we will continue to move forward in the next episode. <sighs> it feels like I've been recording for a while. But that's because I had to go and 
go to the bathroom in the middle of things, which I still apologize for, because uh, that's not cool. All right. Uh, anyway, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Dungeon Munchies, let me know down in the comment section below. Like the video and share with your friends. Let me know if you want to see more of any games that I do here on the channel. The link down to the game is in the description box below if you want to pick it up for yourself. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. I play all sorts of games on my channel. Thank you guys very much for tuning in, and I will talk to you later.